We're going to look at 8 and 11. Given the recursive definition where n is greater than 1, write at least four terms of the sequence. So in number 8, the first term is given as 6. The recursive definition tells you how to get the next term. So to get the next term, you're going to do 3 multiplied by the previous term. So take this term and multiply by 3. That gives you 18. Multiply it by 3 again, and you get 54. And multiply by 3 again, we get 162. On number 11, the first term is given as negative 2. And again, this notation here and this notation here are giving us the same type of information. Here, t of n is the current term. t of n minus 1 is the term before it. Here, if a sub n plus 1 is the current term, a sub n is the one before it. So this is saying to get the next term, you're going to do 2 times the previous term and then subtract 3. So to get the second term, I'm going to do 2 times the previous term, which is a sub 1, and then subtract 3. So that would be 2 times negative 2 and then subtract 3, which is negative 7. If you keep following the same pattern to find the third term, I'm going to do 2 multiplied by the previous term, which is a sub 2, minus 3. So 2 times. The second term we just found was negative 7, and then subtract 3. So this would be negative 17. And for the fourth term, I'm going to take 2 times the previous term, so that would be negative 34, and then subtract 3, so negative 37. <coughs>